Some of you may be following the tragic but pretty heroic situation that played out this week related to New Hampshire congressional candidate Hardy Mesha. By played out, I mean it played out to a sort of conclusion. He died of cancer, but he did his best he did his best to follow Sun Tzu's advice all the way up to the last week. Quote, if, on the other hand, in the midst of difficulties we are already always ready to seize an advantage, we may extricate ourselves from misfortune. Unquote. Hardy understood how PR works, and he did his best to make lemonade out of lemons. For instance, when he elected to soldier on through his Libertarian Party candidacy, despite being diagnosed with cancer, that enabled me to do something I normally don't do. I normally don't provide news coverage to Libertarian Party candidacies because they're not newsworthy. But his resilience enabled me to at least do a story about it. Later on, this played out on a more statewide scale when, from his deathbed, he recorded a message to New Hampshire's governor asking her to loosen up medical marijuana restrictions. This went pretty viral and got mainstream news coverage. He took his tragedy and used it, I would hope, to save a few people down the road. There's a good chance that that will be the outcome. I emailed his wife on the 15th to find out what she thought would be the most useful thing uh, people could do over the net that would be helpful to her. She recommended, that, at least in my case, that I let you know about a website that Seth set up. I assume it's Seth Cohn. I will link to this website in the video description as of this reading. I haven't figured out exactly which website she's talking about. But if you want to help, I would say the thing to do uh, is go to the video to my video description here and uh, click the link to the website that she's referring to. I guess the other thing you could do would be just to contact Heidi Maysha on Facebook and find out what she needs lately. There's a memorial service scheduled for Hardy on Sunday, May 19th. You can find that on Facebook or in my video description. That's all I can think of to tell you that you don't already know. Yet another free state or death as Hardy Maysha joins Ian Hild. Lloyd Danforth, Denise, who was either a Free Stater or a New Hampshire Liberty activist, maybe both, Howard Katz, New Hampshire Liberty activist, Porcupine Fest attendee Allison Edwards, and God forgive me for the ones I may be forgetting, all of them now beyond the reach of the authorities.